Hello, in this recording, I'll be showing you how to take a PDF file and send it to an uh, HTTP endpoint with uh, multi-form data. So with this process, I have a disconnector that's going to be pulling a PDF. Um, that PDF is going to go down branch one. Um, and we have a property here called MIME property name, which is just configured like this. Um, this is going to be essentially what the uh, the file is labeled as in cache. So in this case, I use file two. Um, that, that data is loaded into the cache and it's just uh, set up to be with a name and then the, uh, the NVMe property name. So it links it with the, uh, the property we just set in the shape before this one. And then in the second branch, we have a message shape, which is just JSON data that's basically defining how the, the MIME data will be formatted. So we have file two. This is has to match up with the set properties on branch one. Um, but other than that, it can be any name you want, just as long as it's the same in both places. And this top value, test.pdf, this will be the name of the, uh, the file the PDF file that we are sending. Um, content type, this is the HTTP header content type. So this can be anything you want, depending on what content type of data you want to be sending. Um, the, uh, the transfer encoding set, um, this is just how the data will be encoded when it is sent. So you can use binary, base 64, 7-bit, 8-bit, etc. cetera. Um, type key. This is saying that um, the data in the cache will be included in this this set of data. So th this has to be there for this to work. Um, and then this next data process shape is just a map JSON and multi-port form data. Um, and it's well, it's setting up to be used to test cache, which is the cache we have up here um, with the cache index of file. So I didn't say that before, but that's, you can see up here, the cache index is named file. Um, so that just has to match up between the two. So if I run this, we'll be able to see that the PDF comes through from the disk shape. It'll look like some gibberish like PDFs normally do in text. Um, and that gets loaded into this cache, as you can see here. And message shape will override the branch two version of that uh, PDF and see the, get the metadata instead. But after this data process shape, it grabs the data from the cache in branch one and adds it to the multi-part formatting data that we see here, and you can see in that data set, so the data set starts here, um, and you can see we got the, the metadata from what was in the message shape here, and then the actual PDF data below that. At the end of this, there'll be another, there'll be another uh, line that looks similar to this, signifying the end of the data stream. We can't see that here because it cuts it off and, and boomy. Um, and this top part is just the uh, the, the multi-part form data content type and headers and such that get created automatically. And normally, instead of this stop shape, you would have an HTTP client shape to actually send it to whatever endpoint you are planning to use. And that's how you do it.